What is up everyone and welcome back to the ninth uh, HTML video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you about iframes. Iframes can be placed anywhere on your website and they can contain content from your other pages or content from external pages. An iframe should as always be placed between the body tags so that it will appear on the main page. It should be noted that iframes can be quite tricky to work with and they should only be used uh, as the last resort. Uh, if you have nothing else to do then you can use iframes but if you have an alternative then use that because iframes um, they're basically not easy to work with. iframes is however supported in HTML5 so you can use them as much as you want. So to make an iframe we will need to use the iframe tag and that is pretty straightforward. It looks like this. iframe. That was the opening tag and I'm just gonna close it. Like that. So this is an iframe but it's an iframe without content. Um, so in order to add content we will need to use an attribute called source which will uh, define the source um, of content in the iframe. So I will enter my opening tag and I will type src. And I have actually already made a new HTML web page with a picture of a dog on it. And I've called that HTML web page uh, iframe content. So I'm just going to choose this as the source. Like that. Now let's try viewing this in the browser. As you can see we have now created a new frame in our HTML document. And this frame contains uh, our iframe content uh, page with the dog on it. Unfortunately, we can't see the whole dog, but that can actually easily be solved. Uh, let me show you. What I want to do is define a height and a width for my frame. So I can also do that in the opening tag. So I'm going to go in here and add an attribute called height. Like that. And I want that to be 300 pixel. Then I also want to add an attribute called width. And I also want that one to be 300 pixel. So let's try viewing this in the browser again. And as expected, we're now able to see the whole picture uh, in our iframe content HTML page. Um, so that's fine. What I want to do now is try showing an external uh, web page in my iframe. Um, so I'm just going to jump into my HTML document again. So all I need to do right here is to change the source. So maybe I want to show uh, Google, the Google website in my iframe. So I'm just going to change the source and put in the address for Google. And uh, let's view this in the browser. And as you can see, it's now the website of Google that is placed in our iframe. Great. So now I want to make some links uh, that is going to determine what is shown in my iframe. So if I make a link for Google, then it will be Google that is shown in my iframe. If I make a link uh, for my dog website, then it will be my dog website that will be shown in the iframe. So I'm just going to jump into my HTML document again. The first thing I need to do is to add a name to my iframe. I can do that in the opening tag as well. So I'm going to use the name attribute. Like that. And I'm going to call this iframe1. So then I will make two links. The first link will be for Google. Like this. And I will then specify a target for my link. That is also an attribute. So the target should be the iframe. And because the name of the iframe is iframe1, then I will type in iframe1 in the target. Just gonna close it and then I will write the link to Google. Then I'll just copy this and make uh, another link. That link should be for my dog website. This one, I call it iframeconcept.html and the target should again be iframe1. This time it's linked to dog side. So I'm just gonna save it and view it in the browser. 
As expected, it starts out on Google because that's the main source of the iframe. But then I have made these two links, which all have the target uh, of this iframe. So let's try pressing the link for the dog website, like that. And as you can see, now the dog website will be shown in the iframe. If I then want to go back to Google, I'll just press the link for Google, which also have the target of the iframe, like that, and Google will be shown again. Pretty smart, right? So actually you can use an uh, iframe and some links for a simple image gallery. And that was pretty much the final word for today. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or want the source code, then please visit beginnertask.com. Take care and uh, thanks for watching.